Hello, how are you doing? May Almighty God bless you. Today, I want to talk to you about staying positive towards yourself. I want to talk to you today about staying positive towards yourself. The most important relationship you have is the key and is the relationship with yourself. Too many people don't like who they are. They focus on their faults and weaknesses. They relieve their mistakes and failures. They wish they were different. If they were taller, had a better personality, looked like their cousin, instead of accepting themselves as a masterpiece made in the image of God, they are critical towards themselves. They wonder why they are not happy, why they don't have good relationships. It's because they don't like themselves. If you don't get along with yourself, you can no, never get along with other people. Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 12 verse 31, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You can't love others if you don't first love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be merciful to yourself. Be forgiving to yourself. Why aren't you good to you? You don't criticize your friend. Why are you criticizing yourself? When is the last time you complimented yourself? You admire their talent. Why don't you admire your own talent? Start being good to yourself. That's not being selfish. That's not arrogant. That is loving yourself. But too many people go through life feeling wrong on the inside. With this nagging feeling, I had someone say, I have discovered the enemy, it was me. Yes, are you your enemy? Are you defeating yourself? Limiting your dream? Sabotaging your relationships? All because you don't like yourself. You have, you have enough people and circumstances against you. Don't be against yourself. When you wake up in the morning, don't lie in bed and think of everything wrong with you. What you don't like about your looks, relieve your mistakes. Okay? And always trust in God. Dwelling on the negative doesn't help you to do better. Beating yourself up for past mistakes don't, doesn't move you forward. The better you feel about yourself, the better you will do. The more you like yourself, the further you will go. You can't give away what you don't have. If you are in turmoil or in, on the inside, mad at yourself, critical, condemn that. That's what you have to give. If you're hard on yourself, you'll be hard on others. If you don't forgive yourself, you won't forgive others. If you don't get along with yourself, how can you get along with your family? The best thing you can do is start being you. When you love yourself, then you can love others. When you are kind to yourself, then you can be kind to others. It all starts with you. Okay? You are not supposed to beat yourself up because you haven't arrived yet. There will always be some area we need to improve. In fact, I believe God will leave weaknesses on purpose, so we will have to depend on Him. He's changing you from glory to glory. Learn to enjoy the glory that you are in right now. You may not be where you want to be, but you are not where you used to be. Instead of looking at how far you have to go, you need to look back and thank God for how far he has already brought you. It takes a mature person to say, I am okay with where I am while I am on the way to where God is taking me. Okay? You cannot be what you are not. And try to be yourself. Love yourself. So many people, why they live a fake life is because they don't love themselves. Where you love yourself, you don't need to live a fake life at all. Living a fake, a fake life is not of God. Don't let the negative take up the most space. Relieve your victories. Dwell on what is right about you and not what is wrong about you. You can't become whom you were created to be when you are negative towards yourself. Yes, 
there are forces trying to stop us. But I wonder if you are your enemy. Circumstances may be against you. People will come against you. You can overcome. You can overcome those things. Okay, you can overcome them. Do not destroy your life because of hatred. Do not be your own enemy. People will come against you. You can overcome these things. The problem is if you are against you, if you are negative towards yourself, that will keep you from your destiny. God has given us different gifts, different personalities, different temperaments. Sometimes we are fighting who we are trying to be like someone else. You have to accept who God has made you to be. And sure, there are areas we can improve in, areas where we can grow, but there are certain things that are who we are. We can always grow and improve, but you can't fight who God made you to be. Don't go your whole life wishing you were something different, wishing you had a better personality, wishing you were more talented, wishing you were like your neighbor. When in fact you are exactly who you are supposed to be. What you don't realize is half the time your neighbor is wishing they could be you. They see all the good things about you. Do you? What would happen if you would start loving yourself, accepting your gifts, not beating yourself up for mistakes, not down on yourself. Don't look down on yourself because of your weaknesses. Stay positive towards yourself. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus' name.